Hold on, here we go. <coughs> Well, we weren't just the only ones waiting. Uh, there's a lot of people I know on the social media that's been waiting uh, all day for this, too. But first of all, thanks for coming. Um, it's obviously an exciting time for uh, Iowa Western all the supporters and family that are here and, and everybody, there's a, there's a vested interest in, in some of these young men. But most importantly, I want these guys to uh, enjoy this day as well. It's for them. It's hard, a lot of hard work and uh, commitment on their end in order to be in this position, and they've earned it. And, and so I think I want this to be their day. Uh, just a couple things before we get going into it. There's a few that weren't in it, aren't in attendance today just because they were gone with finals. but. Um, Aaron Wimberly uh, has not made his decision yet. It's between Iowa State, Boise State, and he's at TCU right now on a visit. Stephen Funderburk, our line, uh, linebacker, uh, committed to Indiana. He's actually home over break. Uh, Jordan Heiderman was also unable to make, and he's committed to Indiana as well. Um, a couple that we're, we're expecting in February who've made verbal commitments is Isaiah Johnson, our free safety, who's, who's committed to uh, Kansas. And then Rodney Coe, a defensive end, who's committed to Iowa State. Uh, there's going to be plenty more to come. Uh, we, have, we still have a lot of guys. Uh, it's a special group of guys, obviously from the season that we've had, but um, a special group of guys that have opportunities yet that we're just waiting on from Division II to uh, 1AA to NAI schools, which will make more announcements from there. <coughs> With that, I think that's enough for me. Um, like I said, I appreciate you coming. I, I know there's a lot of anticipation. We've been waiting. We're going to let all these guys come up and, and share a few thoughts. And I guess uh, we'll start off with uh, letting Jake go first. That's the one that everybody's waiting on. So we'll let Jake come on up here. And wow. Well, uh, obviously, thanks for everyone you know, to come out here today. You know, it's kind of overwhelming. Uh, we all really appreciate it here, uh, all of us players. And uh, first off, I want to thank the Lord for everything He's given me. I wouldn't be here without Him. You know, then uh, you know, thank you to Dr. Kenny and Brenda for you know starting the football program. So without that, you know, we wouldn't be here as well. Uh, thanks uh, the athletic trainers uh, to keep uh, all of us on the field and be able to do what we do best. And uh, you know, thanks my family, my mom, dad, Luke. I love you guys. Love my brother Matt. I wish he was here right now. But uh, you know, without you guys, I wouldn't be here today. I've been through thick and thin. It's been a long road. And uh, thanks for everything. Uh, to you guys right here, the best dudes I've ever been around. Best team I've ever been around. And I'm gonna have friends from here that I'm gonna have for my lifetime. And I wouldn't change it for the world and change my path for anything. And then, uh, you know, Coach Stro, you know, I love you. Thank you for everything for being a taking a chance on me when no one else would. You know, to the other coaches, thank you for everything. You know, uh, without you guys, I wouldn't be in the position I am today, so I owe it all to you guys. And uh, it's been a hard decision. Coach Joe was at my house till 11 last night and uh, talking over and uh, what's, I'm gonna do what's best for me in, in my gut. And uh, you know, I'm gonna be a student athlete and I think that's the best to be a student athlete at the Kansas State University. <laughs> Any questions for Jake right now? Go ahead, Steph. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Jake, just talk about the the decision and uh, what did it come down to in your mind? Uh, well, I really liked, you know, obviously both schools, and I connected with both coaching staffs, and I can see myself playing at both. But at the end of the day, it's just you know what I felt in my gut. You know, I had a long talk uh, with the Lord last night, and. Uh, you know, just in my gut that this is the best thing for me, you know, as a student and as a player, and uh, so I just went with that. Sounds like you had a conversation with your brother. I know you're close with him last night. Talk about that and the rest of your family and how emotional was that, and just give us a little insight on that if you could. 
Well, the other night it was pretty hectic. Uh, I was all stressed out, and uh, my mom and dad, Luke, will tell you that I probably wasn't the most pleasant to be around. But uh, you know, just uh, they were gonna be happy either way. They just gave me, you know, everything they thought. They didn't tell me one way or the other, and they wanted it to be my decision. And my brother, same way, because uh, you know he's been with me the longest, probably, and uh, I've spent the most time with him, throwing every day and working out, you know, to get where I'm at today. So it was really special to get his input, and uh, you know, I think uh, they're all pretty happy for me right now. Jake, how much did the distance play a factor at all, just being easier to get to Manhattan versus State College? I mean, it played a little bit, but that wasn't the deciding factor at all. You know, it's going to be nice having my mom, dad, little brother, you know, friend, uh, other uh, friends and family, you know, come to the games. But, you know, with my brother being in Ohio, he said distance isn't that big of a deal, and uh, I wasn't, distance wasn't a factor really that much. Did you at all sway toward Penn State during this decision making? Yeah, for sure. I uh, just the other day I told the coaches, you know, I was pretty much leaning there, and uh, you know, I just you know thought it over again, and something clicked. I think God just showed me a sign that uh, you know K State was a place for me. Did Coach Snyder say, "Hey, this quarterback position is basically yours, but you got to prove it"? Well, I mean. There's a good chance for me to come in because it's, uh, you know, with Klein leaving, it's good, uh, you know, opportunity. He didn't guarantee me anything, and I wouldn't want that. He just said that, uh, you know, there's a good chance, and uh, you know, to come in and earn it. And same with uh, Coach O'Brien at Penn State. You did that conversation with Colin Klein from the downtown athletic club Saturday night sway your decision at all? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was definitely cool to hear, uh, to hear him, you know, call me or to see, hear his voice and call me right after that, and know he's caring and thinking about me and caring about me. That. That definitely helped, but at the end of the day, it was just uh, you know my gut and my you know my heart. Jake, were you, were you visited this week by the K State coaches after the uh, after the weekend visit there, and who came to see you? Uh, Coach Miller came last night. And did that sway you in, in the end? I mean, the fact that they had the last visit after mm -hmm. Penn State did that loom large, or maybe describe that? No, because I knew pretty much everything about both schools after visiting them, and I knew what they're all about and uh, their situation and everything. And just the talk with my mom, dad, and Coach Stro, and I guess Luke being there too, you know, just kind of, and then just thinking by myself and uh, you know praying, it kind of just hit me that K State's the the place for me. What about the opportunity to be able to play in the postseason at K State that you wouldn't have had at Penn State? I mean, obviously that's a that's off, that's going to be awesome to just coming off a national championship, you know. And we we've worked all off season. We were working to, to get to get to the national championship, to go undefeated, and you know playing postseason. So that definitely helped. But uh, you know, I just I didn't base that really too much. But uh, it definitely uh, is uh, awesome to know that you know I'm gonna have a chance to do that again. Talking of the road that you've had to travel to get here out of high school, no one recruited you other than Iowa Western, and here you are signing with a team that's gonna be playing in a BCS bowl game. I mean, coming out of St. Albert, well, 2010, I never would have thought it would be like this. You know, I never expected. I just want another opportunity to play. And Coach Stroh and the coaching staff here gave me that opportunity. You know, like I said, I can't thank them enough because they're they're about the only coaching staff in the country that you know saw something in me, I guess, and believed in me. And uh, I just can't. I'm not. I can't be thankful enough for them. And uh, I uh, probably haven't shown it enough, but I truly am. I'm just so thankful for them. You put into words the, the ride you've been on for the last couple of months with the championship, winning the championship here, and, and all the attention you've gotten from colleges and, and this. It's, I mean, it's obviously pretty awesome that so many people care. You know, not just about me, but about us as a team and uh, my teammates. You know, without my teammates standing here, you know, I wouldn't be in the position I am. So, you know, I, I might get a little bit too much credit, but you know, they they really helped me. You know to help me to where I'm at and you know I wouldn't do it without them. Relieved? Definitely. <laughs> 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 all right, all right.